for the lake trout. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful day in Haynes Junction, Yukon. Gonna do some ice fishing and some snowmobiling today. Got a new RMK 800 Assault 2015. Gonna go ditch bang out to the lake and freaking brock the lake for a bit. Set up a new tent. And yeah, gonna be doing an overnight. Hopefully get on some big pike, some big lake trout, maybe even some more big burbot. Yeah, if you could smell that two stroke. Alright you guys, got the old 06 Special Edition 900, my dad's graciously ripping out the skimmer for me. Got the 2015 RMK Assault. Alright you guys, just heading out. First time using this mic on my helmet so hopefully you guys can hear me well. Here. Try to have as much fun as we can on along the way. All right, you guys, so GoPro died about halfway down, but out on the lake and fuck. Wow. So I'm just gonna go pick up my family. They drove out. So I'm gonna go mob out that way and uh, go grab them, set up the tent and get right into it. <coughs> all right, folks, so just unloading all the gear. I'm gonna set up the tent, give you guys a time lapse. Man, can't beat this, huh? Got the, got the tent set up, got the heater set up, uh, wall tent's already set up. I'm just trying to figure out how to put this drill together. Got the deer family tent and uh, Mr. Heat Buddy. So we're there we go, first hole. All right, finally got everything all set up enough where I could put a hook in the water. Got my hole, uh, I got a Rapala, uh, Ice, I forget what the name is now. It was a jig spoon. A little silver and red, I forget what they're called. But yeah, hopefully you're gonna catch the big one today. All right, so it's been a couple hours jigging with uh, my sister and my girlfriend. My sister hooked on something once, but came off right away. So it's getting late, so we're about to shuttle them back. So we'll get some clips of ripping on the ice and then I'm gonna eat and we'll get back out fishing. But yeah, let's, uh, let's rock and roll.
to camp freaking beautiful day it's gonna be another beautiful evening out here gonna eat some food now let's uh start cooking all right everybody just dropped the girls off fun riff on the lake held that wide open for at least 10 seconds almost felt like i was, could blow that thing up Riffing on this lake. But now we're gonna make some uh, Masubi uh, bowl. Almost on every one of my day trips I do, I'll make the spam Masubi. And uh, so my mom found this recipe of just a Masubi bowl where I don't actually have to wrap it all up fancy. And I thought that would be perfect for overnight because it's just you fry up spam and you make rice so got that spam low sodium you know I'm keeping it healthy and the rice and seaweed I almost forgot and then I need some That doesn't look good. I don't know what it is. But yeah, this is my uh, supper for tonight. I probably should have cut these spam pieces a little smaller. Let's dig in. I swear, I cook better when I'm in the back country than when I'm at home. Maybe it's just because I'm hungrier. Well, I'm gonna finish eating, and then I'll go back on the ice, back to the tent, get that thing hot up, heat it up again, and then, um, yeah, hopefully hook up on a beast. But for now, this will do. Alrighty, so back in the tent and got everything set up. Just got a, just waiting on some fish now. So got the sticks all uh, baited up. What's a lake trail that I caught in the last video? It's just a tiny guy and. I didn't eat them yet, so I, the elders probably would have told me to put them in this bed anyway. But look at that, it's already so much, much darker. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. Hopefully you guys can see all right. Get a little hole. And I'm going to set four of these. I'll probably only show you guys the first one. But yeah, I'm going to set four. Get the hand auger. Oh, 
a little bit of ice built up on it. One day I'll get an electric drill auger, but for now, I'm young enough I could do this. So yeah, that's what I got. You guys can see, I doubt you can. So I'll just send that on its way down. That's line. Not a lot of line. We're sitting shallow, like I said. But yeah, I'm gonna do this three more times along, probably in a line this way, varying deep and deeper and whatnot. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back in the tent. Alrighty. So I've been using, oh shit. Heavier, uh, bigger jigs, spoons, all sorts, all day without any luck. I'm gonna switch over to a tiny jig. The same jig I was here, I was using last time I was here and caught a pike, a trout and a burbot on. So hopefully that does me better. I got it on the uh, ugly stick GX2. Uh, medium, me yeah, and just a tiny little, you guys can see that hitting you in the face, tiny little jig, so yeah, I'm going to send that guy down. Alright, just hooked on something. It feels pretty big. Oh, it's giving me a fight. Feels like a pike. Wouldn't see, be surprised if it was a lake trout. So, it's coming. There's going to be a fight. Don't pop off, buddy. Oh, he's right there. Pike. The lake trout. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh. Oh. What a fight. Look at this beast. Beautiful color on him. Let's measure him out. I'll grab my thing 17 inches like on the dot awesome catch let's get back down there all right so it's been a couple hours since i set the pike stick so if i could find them i'm gonna check them really quick first Oh. I think we got something. Burbit. Let's go. Perfect hook. That's awesome to see. All right, you guys, so went and checked the pike sticks and got lucky with a decent sized burbot. Just recently learned they call this a poor man's lobster. So yeah, he's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, let's keep going. This is freaking, you can't beat this, man. All right, I just hooked on one. Don't know what it is yet. It's fighting pretty good. On the... Oh yeah. 
the heavy rod. Holy cow. I bet it's a fight, guys. He smoked it. Holy cow. Holy cow. Another big trout. Yes, guys. Holy cow. Second trout. I'm actually shaking right now. Not even cold. God, this is my third lake trout ever. Definitely my PB. I'm going to have to measure this when I get home. God dang. Look at that guy's colors. Wow. Oh man, I am hyped on this trip, guys. You can't beat this. Let's get right back down in there. All right, you guys, it's just about 10 o'clock now. Back in the wall tent, we call them up here. Uh, yeah, caught three fish, caught the one lake trout, smaller guy, second way bigger guy, almost hooked on that third and then caught a burbot on the pike rod, so, or the pike stick, so that's pretty awesome. But yeah, gonna head to bed now and I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm stuck, I'm scared, I'm scared of the world outside of this place now. Alrighty, good morning guys. That was actually a really good sleep. Only had to wake up to start the fire and it's not because I was cold, not because I was hot, just because you have to keep it going. But yeah, so I had a great sleep. Gonna get some breakfast on, have some eggs and some hash brown and sausage. So uh, let's get right into that. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, here's my breakfast. Some eggs, some sausage, some hash brown. Well guys, I'm gonna finish eating. I'll clean up around here, then I'll head back on the ice and get some chicken again. But for now, this will have to do. Alrighty, so made it back down to the tent. Gonna put down the Rapala, this jig spoon. Alright, I'm all one. Does it feel too big? I'm on one. Up now. I've been really trying to keep myself all around. There it is. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. First fish of the day. I wasn't even there when it hooked on, but another lake trout. About a little smaller than the big guy I caught last night, but still. Great size, great keeper size. Yeah, I'm gonna keep fishing. My dad just got here, so he pulled up at the perfect time. So, freaking wicked, wicked morning. I'm gonna get back down there and keep fishing. Hey. All right, dad yeah, just hooked on one. That's a good way to end it. Yeah. All right, guys. So, got my dad on the last lake trout of the day. Good way to end it. But that was a awesome overnight. 
definitely gonna come back and do it again but for now this is gonna be it for you guys go check out the other videos and uh subscribe 222 that's the year that i think that they tell you hey throw the fucking fear